A Portland area ambulance company, AMR, will not have to pay punitive damages in a civil trial. This involves a paramedic who sexually abused a female patient. Yesterday, the same jury awarded the victim nearly $4 million for pain and suffering. More now from News Channel 8's Pat Doris. Ray, how many others? Objection. To risk. Sustained. To risk. To move the strike. Move the strike. Counsel. Exposed. Explosive moments in a Multnomah County courtroom as attorney Greg Kafori urged a jury to award his client $7 million in punitive damages. The other side immediately asked for a mistrial, which the judge denied. It all involves this man, former paramedic and current prison inmate Lanny Hazard. In December of 2007, this woman, Roy Shika Herring, accused Hazard of putting his hands down her pants as she lay nearly incapacitated in the back of his ambulance. Hazard was eventually sentenced to five years in prison for inappropriately touching four women patients. Now the 29-year-old is suing Hazard's employer, AMR. Wednesday, a jury ordered AMR to pay two and a quarter million dollars plus another million because she was vulnerable. Thursday, her lawyers asked for punitive damages, arguing the company should have stopped Hazard since other women had complained before Herring was abused. Putting an ambulance on the road when you know the brakes are bad, well, you know, it'll probably be okay for a few more days. We'll, we'll fix it next week. That's knowingly reckless. That's exposing people to a risk. What they did is orders of magnitude more reprehensible. But AMR's lawyer fought back, arguing the company may have made mistakes, but was not malicious. Those mistakes, ladies and gentlemen, do not mean that AMR acted maliciously or intentionally and allowed that criminal sexual predator to abuse this woman. In the end, the jury agreed. There will be no punitive damages in this case. Pat Doris, KGW News Channel 8. The judge put a gag order on all sides until all similar lawsuits are heard. The next starts October 12th.